Oh, it's 7 o'clock. Well, let's talk. Let's visit. Hello, everybody. I'm Cindy Langston, Scarlet Gullet Hello. here. We're with Channel 10, of course, KTVE, NBC, out of El Dorado. And it is the 2022 Christmas Parade. We're really excited to be here. Um, I used to do this years ago, Scarlett. We used to be located down at the mall. Uh -huh. And um, Mike Dumas, who was, you know, the original KTV, and I would always do it together. And uh, we have been through rain. We have been where we've sweated. Mm -hmm. And today, we are feeling Christmassy, would you absolutely, say? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> I'm super excited. Now, for me, this is going to be my first year to right. experience this right. magical Christmas parade. But yeah. I'm super excited. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about what we can expect to see. Okay, well, I will. And Bill Luther is the man with the plan, of course. Yes. The Eldorado Chamber of Commerce uh, hosts this parade every year. It is Arkansas's largest Christmas parade. And Bill is the head Fred over at the Eldorado Chamber of Commerce. He can tell us a little bit about the Christmas parade and its history. How long have you all been doing this? Years and years, huh? This is uh, Arkansas's longest in both continuous running and length of any parade. This is right, wow. Uh, the chamber took it over in 1979. Okay. And we don't really have any record of how long it was going on prior to 79. Right, right. But you guys took it over in 79. So it's only grown under their tutelage. And, uh, Bill, how long have you been with the chamber? Uh, 2019. 2019. April 2019. So, yep. So yep. you've seen a couple of Christmas parades. Oh, yes. Uh, I was retired from energy, and every time that the Clydesdales would come, they would right. use our back uh, parking, uh, parking lot, lot yep, to unload, and that, that's really a great thing to watch. We're excited. We have the Clydesdales, I believe, next year. Is that right? 2024. 2024. Okay, well, it's coming up. It's always something we look forward to, but that doesn't mean this year is not going to be amazing. Tell us a little bit about this year's parade. Absolutely. Uh, back to the length. Yes. If you put every uh, float Bumper to bumper and every horse nose to tail, okay. uh, it would be 3,080 feet long, which wow. is uh, six tenths of a mile. Yeah, I was about to say, closer <laughs> to a mile than not. That's right, that's right, that's right. Anyway, uh, this year uh, we're, we're great to have a headliner, thanks to Gabe's Gave. Uh, Scooby-Doo and the Mystery Machine. Yeah, I'm really so, excited. You I'm know, right. Scooby-Doo is not just for Halloween. That's what you need to know, kids. There's mysteries to be solved all year round. And so that's why we had him come right. for this year's Christmas break. And uh, we had a rut row <laughs> this morning. Uh-oh, what happened? Uh, Our rut row, what happened? In uh, front of the First Baptist on Main Street, yep. there was a major pipeline break. Oh, and no. And water was gushing up in, into the street. Uh, the city uh, worked to repair it. Yeah. Uh, when they, 2 o'clock when they found out, figured out they couldn't get it repaired, they shut the leak off and they patched the road and have it ready for the route to uh, stay the same instead of having to reroute. Wow. This is what I love about our city and our community. El Dorado always comes together. Something similar happened right before Music Fest. Uh, if, if we, we covered the story, KTV covered the story when an 18-wheeler took out a light pole at right. that same corner. It's a dangerous corner. I got to church exactly. at First Baptist. Exactly. We'll start having to pray over that or something on Sundays. And, <laughs> and I'm telling you, and all electricity went out to all of downtown El Dorado. And if you know anything about El Dorado's Music Fest, of course, it is in downtown El Dorado. Yeah, right. so it was not good, but they again worked together to get it done. And that's amazing. I love that, that, that you told us that story. I didn't know that. Thank so, you. Ne so tomorrow they'll be out uh, working. Yes. Trying to fix it. But trying tonight to we're going to have a parade and we're going to have it in the same place we've always had it. So we're happy about that. Tell us a little bit about the parade route. Uh, the parade route starts at uh, 18th Street, comes down northwest and turns east on Main Street, uh, then goes to Jefferson and uh, exits, exit the square on Jefferson. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is Scarlet's first parade. So tell us um, some of the things you can always expect at the Eldorado Christmas Parade. Uh, first thing, this is a huge undertaking, Scarlet. Uh, Jaron Brooks and the Christmas uh, uh, Committee uh, began in September planning this. And last year we had uh, 117 entries. This year we have 167. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that is we even had it during COVID. You know, we, we, we punted, we pivoted. Maybe we should say we pivoted. We had it out at the fairgrounds, and um, I was lucky enough to be able to emcee that. It was such a different experience, but it really made us appreciate the way we always have the Eldorado Christmas Parade. So I love that. It was a drive-by. It was a drive-by. It was a drive-by parade, and it, and it really worked. Um, girls, my, my friends, you tell us if you see something coming because we're kind of blocked. Uh, so you tell us when, when you see something coming. We've got people all over. Of course, Maya and Hunter, our morning show ladies that are phenomenal, have worked a double today. Um, they got up at like 1.30 in the morning. I, their schedule is 
you can tell they're really young, Bill, because I don't, I mean, if I'm up at 1.30, it's because I stayed up till 1.30, not because I got up at 1.30. Yeah, but they, they got up at 1.30, they worked the morning show, maybe took a little nap. Did y'all take a little nap? No nap. No nap. Oh, my heavens, wow. they are children. Okay, anyway, whatever. I don't know. I don't, I don't pretend to understand that, but they didn't even nap. And they rallied probably a couple Red Bulls, maybe some bangs or coffee. And now they've done live shots, I guess, what, at 5, 6, and 10 with you? Uh -huh. At 5, 5, 30, 6, 6 4, uh -huh. 6, 30. 6, 30. Um, they've got plenty of air time today, goodness yeah. gracious. And, uh, and they're going to be here for the parade as well. So we're really excited about them. Right. It usually takes 20 minutes. Uh, when they leave 18th Street right. to get to, to get this, here. this location. Okay, they don't have it planned out. I love that. How many volunteers do you guys have? Just for the parade, I mean. 21. Not enough. That Not enough <laughs> that are ambassadors that have been with us. Um, the uh, We've got folks being gatekeepers, right. uh, escorting the judges. Uh, let's, let's see here. Uh, horse and cart wranglers. Right. Uh, Let's see here. What other? Yeah, don't forget. We got, yeah, uh, and L Squad. <laughs> what is that? They will be riding carts. They're dressed up as elves, or they elves. are elves, elves, and they'll be passing out candy canes. Oh, how oh, cute! Maybe we can get them to give us a little snack. Okay, we might yeah, get hungry. It's a long parade, so somebody pass it out. <laughs> That's not no, we're kidding. We really don't. <laughs> Hunter's like, I got you. I'm with you. I got you. You're going to make a great mom someday, Hunter, just so you know. Always carry snacks. You'll be great. Well, um, we really have to thank our first responders as well because without them um, and our city workers, I know Scarlett and I saw them setting up uh, the metal whatever street a uh, new sign yeah to, all that and everyone, absolutely yeah. and then um the police of course we yeah. see flashing lights everywhere yes. chief hickman uh sheriff ricky roberts uh chief uh, fire chief uh Chad mosby, mosby. Mm -hmm. mosby. Uh, they and uh, the public works director, yes. they were all members of the planning committee. So wow. they were in on it from the beginning. Yeah, smart. Smart to get the right people involved. We may not be the right people, but we know the right people. And that's There important. you go. <laughs> well, what else do you need to tell us? What's going on in the chamber for 2023? What do we have to look forward to? I hope we'll have some announcements job-wise. Uh, industry coming in. Well, you can't we're, beat that. Too. That'll be a happy new year for Absolutely. sure. Right. Right. We're working with two now that are are real, real close. Oh, I hope so. Well, we, we wish you the best uh, and Merry Christmas. Happy New Merry Year. Merry Christmas to Merry you guys. Christmas. We hope you have a great parade. Thank you. And yes, a sir. safe parade. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming up. You're welcome. Well, while we get Bill out, we are going to bring up uh, Darren Rawson at some point. I, I, I don't see him, so I think they'll have to go find him. He's in the green room. He's in the green room, Scarlett. Yeah, have you been to the green room? Oh, listen. So we are fancy here at KTVE, and we have great friends. And so um, Designs by Skyler, it's called Sincerely Sky. It's a new business in the Foxfire um, shopping area. And um, she has been our kind of hostess with the mostest tonight. KTVE is growing in El Dorado. And if you come see us, you will see that we are like little sardines in a sardine can. Um, we are just, you know, and not all of us are starting size, so there's that. Um, so we are uh, out, outgrowing our area, and we really couldn't fit all the fun friends that we have coming in tonight. So Sincerely Sky uh, is hosting our green room, uh, and then we have great food, right? Yes. Here we have soups. Yep. We have yep. We have Cookies. Cookies. Hot cocoa. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of everything for our judges and for all the volunteers. I'll tell you. You know, Scarlett and Maya and Hunter and I are up here in front of the camera, but there are so many of our um, peers that are working behind the scenes, and they have been here for two days. Um, the guys have been coming up to set up and make sure that everything's going to go right tonight. And I don't even know how one, two, three, four, five, goodness, uh, more than a half dozen guys up here mm -hmm. working behind the scenes Absolutely. to make sure that we look as good as we can look. So we're really thankful for all those guys and their hard work. So thank you. Um, Darren, I think is coming now. What what did you say, Sherry? Okay. Bud's gone to get him, so we'll wait on Darren. In the meantime, let's talk a little bit about what all's going on in El Dorado. Have you been yes. ice skating yet? I did go ice skating before it opened. I got to do a Fancy. preview of okay. the ice skating You must rink. know people. Yes. Okay. And so that's super fun. I know a lot of families are getting involved and yeah. getting their season passes because it's not just for a weekend right. or a single day. Right. We have the ice rink open for 
almost a month, right? I think it's maybe or even longer, more, like six weeks, month. because I think it, it opened, what, November the 18th, 19th, right? right? Uh -huh. And it's open through like January, January the 2nd. Mm -hmm. So about six weeks, you have an opportunity. There's no reason to miss. And that happens unless it's raining. Mm -hmm. Obviously, they won't be open, but otherwise, I mean, they're open on the weekends, whether it's cold, whether it's hot. I've been there ice skating before when the ice is melting, and they've ah, had to stop to, like, do wow. the Zamboni to try to get it frozen again so that we can go. It's so fun. Didn't you think it was fun? It was amazing. It was my first time experiencing that How'd well. you do? Did you fall? I did fall. Okay. Well, that's part of it. It's not a good experience <laughs> unless you bust your rear end yes, one time Yes, it's, it's part it's of it. It's part of it. What about, did you use the helper? I did. Okay. I had to use the helper. I understand. Because it's been a long time. I understand. So, you know, I, I had to get, get Can you roller skate? I can roller skate, okay, yes. I cannot roller skate oh. for, for to save my life. <laughs> KTV years ago had a Christmas party uh -huh. where we roller skated. And I think my husband, like, got a hairline fracture from that. We are not roller skater people. But I could ice skate. The ice skating is easier. It's not like... Um, I don't know. I've, I've been ice skating at, you know, the Galleria in mm -hmm. Dallas when I was a kid. And I don't know. This seemed much easier. Like, our, maybe it. it's, mm -hmm. you know, the weight. I don't know. But our skates go in further, and it seems easier to get on there. So as we get Darren mic'd up, we want to encourage you to go and support uh, Matt on Ice. It yes. is so much fun. It's for any ages can go. And uh, it's a relatively cheap experience. If you don't want to skate, you can go watch your kids skate, have a cup of hot cocoa, and just enjoy the sounds of the season. There's music playing, Christmas music, and it's always really a fun Absolutely. time. Absolutely. Say, all right, let's welcome our next guest. So that's a drum roll. <laughs> this is Darren Rawson. I've known Darren and his family for a long time. They are great people, great citizens of our community. Um, their latest endeavor is uh, a little thing called Gabe's Cave. Now, somehow Gabe himself, who is a freshman in college, got out of uh, coming on camera tonight, but Big Brother got the job. I don't know if he's super excited about it, but he is here. We're grateful that he's here. How are you doing, Darren? I'm, I'm, doing, get, I'm doing good. Gabe is actually, I can see him right over there across the street. Uh -huh. Hiding out. Hiding yeah, hi out hiding out. Yeah, he's so not exactly a... Uh, a, a camera, camera person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he'll, he'll do the, the, you know, the YouTube stuff and yeah. all that. But I was about to say he does. Yeah, he's it's not. It's the same thing. We're on the internet. This is what we're doing. We're live streaming. Yeah, yeah, we're live streaming Facebook right now. But I think it's the TV part of it that uh, that might bother him a little bit. Yeah. But, yeah, and it's not, it's not true, that bad. That's true, but, it's not that you know, pays the bills, right? Right. That's right. So, it's not bad there we at go. all. <laughs> well, tell us a little bit about Gabe's Cave and their, um, uh, I don't know, coming into the community. How long have y'all been open? We have been open since... Um, October of last year, so a little over a year. The last of October, I, mean, I think November eighth was our first day, actually. Yeah. So, like I said, a little over a year um, since we've been open there. We um, we're a comic shop, toys, hobbies, uh, whatever you, you, any kind of like um, superhero movies or sci-fi or anything like that. Like we do all kinds of stuff like that with the community. We've got a game room. We've got um, we do uh, we've got like a thing with the the local movie theater where. We, Which we love. Yeah, we go out um, a day early and get to watch all the movies um, early, and um, it's really cool. Lots of stuff like that. Here's the thing. Um, so I have three children, as you guys know. My middle child is 14. His name is Spencer, mm -hmm. and uh, he is very into comics. He collects <laughs> comics. He has. I see him in there. I mean, they're first day basis. Good friends. Yeah, like, all the time. I've been talking to him for the past 15 yeah, minutes. He's, yeah, he's been monopolizing Darren before we came on um, in the green room. Uh, but anyway, but um, because of that, we, when we go places, we visit comic shops. That's kind of what mm -hmm. we do. So when we go on vacation anywhere, the beach, wh wherever, we're going to find a comic shop. And you walk into these comic shops, and they can be a little sketch. It's just yeah, saying. Yeah. Uh, and it's it's um, it, it's insane. You have to dig through comics. It, it's... it's uh, very crowded. It's you know, it's it's kind of a, a unique experience. But when you walk into Gabe's Cave, it is a whole other world. It is neat. It is clean. It is like modern and high tech, and has the coolest stuff. Even if you um, don't want to collect comics, they do. They have toys. Yep. They have games. They have bobbleheads. They have what are those pop pop pops? Yeah, pops. that's one of the big things we sell in there. Pops There's a is lot a of people big love pops. Deal. And it's so cool. And it's really well done and they have everything they have everything you can get in the big city they have everything you can get in amazon or any website that you can think of and they have it in el dorado if you even it, it, uh one of our production guys um is uh really into comics he's really into what was it mystique is that what he's into he's into some something oh, i can't I don't remember and yeah. he and he um went there and he's like oh my gosh the prices were great yeah. he said and it was very comparable it was it was completely comparable equal to any place he's ever been and he's also a big collector so um it's definitely worth the drive up if you live in louisiana or if you live in other parts of south arkansas it's definitely worth the drive oh, to come over yeah, and, yeah. See, and see gabe's cave but anyway i'm monopolizing the conversation no, sorry i know you're used to that 
Uh, but we are excited about Gabe's Cave. We got this idea uh, to have Scooby Doo. People, it's not a um, common Christmas theme, right? No, not uh, at all. No. But I, I, yeah, I was trying to think of like what other when when Scooby Doo was with Christmas at any other time, and I was like maybe. Oh, there's a Christmas special. Yeah, I was like maybe a couple Batman? of maybe a movie or two, maybe a couple episodes, but like really sure. like it, it's not. Not a big thing, is no, it? No, it's a, it's a, you know, I mean, he solves mysteries. It's maybe more with Halloween, right? When you sure, say, yeah. Um, but for whatever reason, they said, well, let's do Scooby Doo this year. And I mean, row, row, we, we, we were here for it. Yeah, we, we yeah, yeah. Love Scooby, yeah. Right? It, was, it was, yeah. I'm, so, I'm excited about it. So which came first, the theme or you guys getting Scooby here? That's a good question. Well, I don't know, but chicken or the <laughs> That's egg a good qu- I don't doesn't know. really matter. That's a good question. Um, uh, we are excited because we do have Scooby, not just Scooby, like the guy dressed up like Scooby. No. But real. the boys. Scooby. Yeah, yeah, we do. Scott Ennis, um, uh, he will be here when, in the parade. Um, he's brought the mystery machine. He drove up this morning. Um, he was keeping contact the whole time, making right. sure he's good. The mystery machine's all good. He'll be here, and you'll see him in a little while. I don't know where at in the parade. Right, right. And, I, um, think, I can't remember what number yeah, it is, I have but he's, no he's idea, somewhere yeah. in there, I promise. Yeah, I think we're right behind him or right within okay. there somewhere. Gotcha. I'm not sure. But. And if you love him and you love Scooby-Doo and you grew up loving Scooby-Doo, you have an opportunity to actually meet him. You do, yeah. So if you um, are watching this live, um, I'm sorry for people next weekend or whenever this airs, but yeah. if you're watching this live, tomorrow he'll actually be at Gabe's Cave um, from 3 to 6. Yep. That is tomorrow, what, December 2nd, Friday. Yep. yep. Uh, from 3 to 6, he'll be at the shop. He'll have the Mr. Machine there. You can take a picture with the machine. You can take a picture with him, get some autographs. The Mr. Machine, I want to see, it's like his merch van. He carries all of the um, uh, shirts and books yeah, and what, what yeah movies Pictures and like yeah all the stuff that he's yeah. like from like the main movies he was in like the kind of weird stuff that you can get that yeah. you couldn't get anywhere else i know like one of those you yeah. gotta be there to do yeah yeah right right and he carries a lot of that with him that he just like he'll go to a comic shop and find something he's that's like cool. oh that's going in the merch van that's cool wow. get it while you Amazing. can because it's not something that's still made Every day. you know what i mean yeah that's really neat um well, tell me, um, so how does it work if you want to meet him? People who have not been to Gabe's Cave for one of these meet and greets before, you actually, I mean, it's free to meet him. Yeah, no, it's, you can go in and, and, and like, hey, Scott, how are you doing? But to, like, take a picture with him and right. get a get a, um, um, an, an, an autograph. autograph or whatever. Yeah, you, you definitely, I, I don't know what these prices are, but yeah, you got to pay. And they're, they're very reasonable Absolutely. compared to some of the other big name um, ones out there. But yeah. um, you just go in and get in line. I mean, it's, you but walk But you, you don't have to buy anything. That's no. the thing. It's completely free to yeah. meet him. If you want to pick a picture, again, it's going to cost, you know, he, he obviously has to make money. Sure. Um, yeah, if you just want to go through the line and hand, shake his hand, you can. That's yeah, free. by all means, go ahead. It's so cool. But, I mean, it's it's not a bad, it's, it's from whatever, it's pretty reasonable. And it's a great gift. You know, if your kids are into that kind of thing or if you're into that kind of thing, what a great gift for Christmas. I'm into that kind of thing. Yeah, absolutely. And coming right here to El Dorado, like, right? that is amazing. I know. Wow. Right. What else is wow. coming up? I know we have meet and greets all the time at Gabe's Cave, and I love that. You've had some really cool things in the past. Um, yeah. The characters from the Sandlot. We did, yeah. The Hulk the came. Hulk was there, yep. But uh, my people are really, we're into Star Wars. I grew up on I Star Wars. I'm big into you know, Star Wars We've well, talked yeah. about it. We're kind of Star Wars nerds. So next weekend, um, which this airs, I don't know when it airs. We were talking about it earlier. But next weekend, Saturday the 10th at noon, we'll have Ray Park there. For those that don't know, Ray Park is, um, he is the, yeah, he's the guy who actually played Darth Maul. I was getting there. I, was getting I, there. I didn't know if you uh, forgot no, his no, name. No, like no, no. Like, he froze up. I'm just trying to help a brother out. <laughs> Darth, yeah, he's, uh, he's who played Darth Maul, and he actually voiced Darth Maul in a couple of the things, and he was, um, yeah, that's his character. That's he so also cool. was Snake Eyes and G.I. Joe and Nightcrawler and X-Men, and he's been in several other things. He's yeah. always uh, All cool the, characters. Yeah, though. absolutely. He's the martial artist that they choose yeah. in a lot of movies uh, just because that's, cool. that's what his background is, but we're all super excited about it. That's going to be amazing. Yeah. And you guys have even have stuff coming up. Uh, next year, you always have something cool coming up. Yes, yep. but in February you've got something. Good we coming. do. We have. Um, w- this is the plan. Uh, we've got um, Flash Gordon, which uh, he should be the guy who played Flash Gordon. Right. I uh, don't know a date. I don't know anything. We just know it's supposed to be in February. Yeah, right. excited about that. Um, wow. Yeah. No. Well, uh, we are excited about everything coming on at Gabe's Cave. Again, you've, you've got to go see it. It's an amazing place to visit and uh, and to look into. Anything else that we're missing? Talk, talk a little bit about how the movie thing works. If, if ever a cool movie, like a cool Marvel movie or um, superhero movie is coming out, you got to stop by Gabe's Cave and you can get these little tickets. So we do. Um, we have a YouTube side and we've got a store side. And the YouTube side, we always do, um, we always do movie reviews right. and stuff like that. So. What we do is we actually have a thing with a local theater. So on Thursday, the day before, we always get to go at a reasonable hour and watch the new movie coming out. 
and um, uh, we do a review kind of with everybody there. So when people get out of the movie, they can uh, they can come in and like kind of talk with us and and uh, give their what they feel about the movie uh, right after the movie, and that'll go on the YouTube side. Yeah. And then we always pay like the the tickets are always discounted. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of fun. It's a thing for the community and a thing for you know if you want to get on yeah. and talk with people. And a lot well. of times they have little gift bags that they'll give you when you go with a comic in them. Yeah, yeah. we always yeah. give away stuff. Yeah. So it's just it's a neat fun experience. Plus you get to see it. You know the whole night early and with like-minded people so That's like the thing. you know yeah. it's so fun if you're into that kind of thing like we my family is into that kind of thing and so you'll go and people are they know what's going on right because they've right. you know they they know the the history mm -hmm. um of whatever particular character or whatever is being featured and so they cheer at the right spots and they they get it yep. you know what i mean yep. they get yep. it so it really is a fun experience and something that uh, i don't know if other communities have something like that i have not really heard fun. of another one i know we've got some friend shops that we're trying to get some stuff started like that after we started doing it yeah um but you're just in different states so if they are you know again because we're streaming this on facebook and it's also on my .com, and people from all over the world can watch us. Sure. Uh, tell them how to find you if they can't make it to Eldorado. So if you're looking for us, it's Gabe's Cave. That's that's just how it sounds. Right. Just G A B E S C A V E. Um, that's everywhere. Gabe's Cave. Uh, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, everything. Yeah. Uh, our website's gabescave.com. Yeah. Uh, pretty easy, pretty simple to find. They have, they have really cool, um, like, online stuff that they do. You get in that yeah. room and y'all have shows. Yeah, we've, like I said, we've got a YouTube channel, kind of yeah. like this, but yep. uh -huh. yeah. uh, just See, for YouTube. It's yeah, thing. it's the same thing. Yeah. You should have us on your YouTube. We don't know what we Y'all have been in there before. We could do unboxings together. Yeah. Those are cool oh, when y'all do that. Awesome. They do these unboxings and they're really okay. cool because they get, like, really cool stuff. There's a 100% chance that Spence will be in there at some point or another. Of course he will. Yeah. Of course he will. Well, Oh, my mic's cutting out. Is your mic cutting out? Yikes! Mine oh, has you a, got to love it. A lot of feedback. Uh, well, we are getting closer to the parade. Yes. I have to say a personal thing. Darren is a new daddy. Uh, he's got a. How old is your baby? Uh, three months and some and some days. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're getting we're not closer to. You on that. We're getting closer to four months. Yeah. We, we won't. We won't. Tell your wife it's okay if he doesn't know the days, wife. It's fine. I, I know when he was born. <laughs> I just don't know how to count the weeks. It's hard. You know, like people get into the weeks. I'm just like. It's it's so much. It's yeah. so much. Like they're 52 weeks old. That's a year, sister. Yeah, they're anyway, 140 that, days. Right. right. It's it's what? a lot. It's yeah. a, I don't know. It's that's a first time parent. After you have three, you're like I don't know. I mean, he's yeah. I'm there. I'm <laughs> a I'm a first time I'm parent, but it's like I've had three. I don't know. So uh, he's three months and some change. That's there right. That's perfect. Good job. Well, happy Christmas. We hope you have a wonderful first Absolutely. Christmas as a as a new dad and a family. We're Thank excited you. for Thank you. you. Thank and we're excited to come see the Gabe's Cave. And, and hopefully, Scooby will be here soon, but we're looking forward to meeting him tomorrow in person. I am very excited as well. All right. Thank we'll you for having you. me on. Absolutely. Thank you. Absolutely. All right. Scarlett, what else is going on? My, my mic is messing up. My headphones are messing up. I'm going to adjust yeah. them real quick. Let's fix, fix, fix. Awesome. I realize we're live. I, I can't help it, people. <laughs> i got to be comfortable. It's a long day. <laughs> All right. Talk to us about like, what's going on, Scarlett. Let's look at our oh, – Scarlett and I have just got our scripts, just so you know. But Facebook hey, friend. we're used to this, so it's okay. That's right. That's right. It's okay. It happens it's all the time. Fine. Uh, we need oh, to we thank can talk about our sponsors. We definitely we need, need to talk, talk about our sponsors. sponsors. Go for it. Okay. So um, our sponsors of the streaming and televised parade, yep. which is obviously what you guys are watching right now. Right. Um, we have Cole's Jewelers. Yep. Um, we have Spa, Spa on Main. And we will definitely want to give a special thanks to ENR because they have an amazing staff. Yeah. They have amazing food. I know me and my coworkers. And we eat there a we lot. All, we all go there. <laughs> we do. Quite frequently. Yep. So um, we definitely want to thank them as well. Sincerely, Sky, yeah. um, as Cindy mentioned earlier, um, she is helping us with um, our green screen room right. and kind of holding all of those goodies and foods for us to all enjoy while we're out here yep. enjoying the Christmas parade. Absolutely. Um, Lawrence Electric and Energy for um, making sure we have power, which is very, very important. important. We have a lot of cameras, a lot of lights, uh -huh. a lot of equipment that we definitely needed that power for. Yeah. So we definitely want to give a big thank Absolutely. you to them. Um, Hayes Rental, uh, they are also providing um, lights and scissor lifts. Yeah, I hope we can get a shot at some point yeah. of Brandon on the lift yes. shooting the parade because mm. I think that's great. He is Absolutely. way up. Absolutely. He's brave. We talked about going up there with him, but I don't I don't really, I don't trust him that much. I'm afraid he would. <laughs> he just gave me the look. <laughs> Do you have a chair up there, Brandon, or are you just standing? You're just. Poor oh, thing. Okay. He was bending down. He's he's resting. He's so tired. Poor Brandon. See all the work that goes in behind mean. the camera. Perfect <laughs> example. We love our team. Can you tell? We love to give them a hard time, if nothing else. So um, we are uh, 
blessed to have all these folks here in El Dorado. We always love it when they come up. You know, Absolutely. it's always a good time when they come up. And as you said, Cole's Jewelers, mm -hmm. like they will be in the background of a lot of our shots. I don't, I don't know if a lot of people know, but Cole's recently moved right. um, across the street from Foxfire, mm -hmm. uh, next door to Jean's Liquor, Jean's Liquor. Mm -hmm. um, right here on Northwest Avenue. Uh, it's the old, I think Larry's Rexall is what it was, and it's been closed down for a while, but it's a brand new building, Scarlett. And it's beautiful. And they, it oh, is so beautiful. pretty. Those windows are so pretty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, they, they renovated it to their needs, and it's open just in time for the holidays, and they have some amazing stuff. Yes, they do. I think every salesperson's been over there, and they come out with the bag. Right. I mean, they, Absolutely. <laughs> so uh, be careful <laughs> if you go in, because you're going to leave with something, because they have lots of fabulous stuff. But we are so thankful for them. Absolutely. And it's perfect sponsorship, because, of course, they're right, they're right there right across, across the, street. the street. That's mm -hmm. right. That's and right. I I believe they're having a ribbon cutting tomorrow morning. Oh, are they? So really? that's, that's right. huge. So Perfect. Come out and support. I'm sure they'll have specials. And of course, Christmas, they're going to have specials. So definitely want to go and visit with them. And uh, what else? Um, oh, you mentioned the chamber. And of course, we yes, talked to Bill. We but, definitely talked uh, The to Chamber Bill. of Commerce, I will say, does so much in our community. Uh, if you want to become a member of the chamber, uh, that helps them have things like this. Mm -hmm. And if you have a business in a small town, you really need to be a member of a Chamber of Commerce. Uh, it again helps support your community and have great events all year long, not just the Christmas parade. We're thankful for all they do. We are already seeing some characters. The Little Caesars man yes. um, is going to probably walk into the shot soon. So if you see this um, hubba hubba toga man <laughs> uh, walk through our shot, it's the Little Caesars guy. Don't be alarmed. So <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We we'll have all kinds of characters today. I love today. it. I you love just it. never know what you're going to see. Um, I don't know where. I'm trying to see. Where are they? Do you see them anywhere close? What time is it? It is 727. So they started walking and moving almost a half hour ago. Mm -hmm. And I thought they would have been here by now. Perhaps somebody had a flat tire. I don't really know. <laughs> But um, Maybe. we will see Maybe them. So. We will see we them. We will see them soon. Um, okay, soon. let's talk about what else is going on. I bet in here somewhere it's going to talk a little bit about what's going on in El Dorado this holiday season. Mm -hmm. Somewhere. Let's see here. As um, Mr. Bill told us, we have a hundred over a hundred entries this year mm -hmm. which is big it is known as arkansas's largest christmas parade and the longest christmas parade i don't know if you were here earlier but if you're just tuning in i'm cindy langston and this i'm scarlett, scarlett Gully. Gully. we're so excited to be with you um scarlett and i work at the tv station in el dorado tell me a little bit about you scarlett oh okay so i am a multimedia journalist yep. and i sometimes fill an anchor um so i have been at uh, ktve and kard for almost a year and i've learned so so much. Um, I have really gotten to grow my uh, career in journalism yeah. and just meet so many nice people. And let me tell you, the El Dorado community is absolutely amazing. I've met so many genuine people, and they have really given me the tools that I need uh, to, you know, basically start my career absolutely. and maintain it and just kind of figure out what my plan is moving forward. Yeah. But um, I'm super excited. We want to excited. keep her forever, but <laughs> there's no yes. guarantee of that, unfortunately. <laughs> but she will be here for a couple of years yes. at least, and we're going to squeeze yes. every ounce of love into her while she's here. Absolutely. We've really enjoyed her. I, you know, you've been one of the best parts about this job for me, getting to know you and mm -hmm. um, coming on board and being a team. And, and it really is at a small station. Um, we're family. And so we really, we really enjoyed that. Scarlett yes. is originally from Mississippi and went to school at Southern Miss, right? Yes, Southern Mississippi in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Yep. So um, learned a lot there. But I've always wanted to just spread my wings and yeah. kind of come somewhere else, find a new place and just learn and grow from yeah. there. Um, so came here to yeah. Arkansas and El Dorado. Great to still be in the South though, right? Great to still be in the South. I don't know. First when. of all, Scarlett's not a fan of cold weather. I'm not a fan of cold weather, <laughs> but I do love to like uh, uh, fall weather of yeah. just the snuggles and yeah. watching a good cozy movie and enjoying that Christmas and holiday atmosphere. Yeah, that is something that I absolutely love. So it, Arkansas is just so similar to Mississippi, it is, and it is. I definitely feel like I'm still at home. Yeah. Now, did you grow up in a small town or a large town? Small town. Okay, so you're, town it, this girl. has not been um, quite the culture shock as it no. would be for some people. No, not it's at hard. all. It's hard. It you is know, hard. I grew up uh, hard. about an hour away in Warren, mm -hmm. and it was it's seven. It was when I was there, it was seven thousand people. It's smaller now, and so El is the big city for mm -hmm. me. But I actually live in Smackover, and it's even smaller than Warren. And when right. I tell my, you know friends for more than that there's like a collective intake of breath like what what that, that's possible there's a smaller <laughs> town than warren but there is is it coming okay. it's by wendy's oh we're getting closer we're getting friends. closer we're getting closer i mean wendy's is not that far so mm -hmm. we're good we're good Yay. it's a stone's throw um so anyway we are excited to to be back at el dorado um our news 
um, of course, was founded here, based here. The mm -hmm. TV station was based mm -hmm. here. Um, I worked here right out of college um, and left after I uh, had my first child uh, when he was one. He is now 18 and in college. And, um, and so it just so happened we were starting a newscast here again. And Sherry Cross and I have been friends for years. And she and I were visiting about that. And here we are. Here we are. Yeah, yeah. I love so it. it's been a great experience. And we're really glad to be able to. This is different. When I was here before, we did an Arkansas news, but it was really the same newscast, just uh, we just vocalized it uh -huh. uh, in Arkansas. This is different. It's all Arkansas, and we're really thrilled to be a part of it. We hope that you'll tune in at 4 o'clock on uh, weekdays to see our newscast. But as I say that, <gasps> I can see. Oh, this is awesome. We're starting. We are starting. So the Elf Squad, Bill Luther spoke about that. They are dressed up as elves, carrying around. Yeah, that, yeah, we're saying it. That's what we're talking about. Sherry's giving us direction. We're talking about the Elf Squad right now. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to make sure that we were talking about the right thing. So <laughs> getting our directors. Yeah, so directors we cut. definitely do see an Elf Squad yep. cart. Uh, and they are vehicle. giving out <laughs> candy canes. So yes. maybe we can snag one of those mm. for you guys. Um, I wish we had smell -O vision Yes. We're putting Maya and Hunter on that. Yes. Gonna, they are going to get the candy cane action going for us. And then, of course, we talked about the El Dorado Parade led by the El Dorado Police Department. We could not do it without them. Wow, this is amazing. Let's see. Well, I'm not on air. I've got set up my earrings. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, so, oh, wow. Okay, so we've got, oh, so we've got some characters coming in. Let's see here. Everybody's having such a great time, and it's finally rolling through here past um, the KTBE station and Cole's Jewelers. <laughs> we see um, the, the team of onesies arriving, the characters of onesies. <laughs> They're doing a little gymnastics <laughs> oh, routine. I love it. <laughs> I love it. We're so excited. So the Elf Squad will be riding throughout the parade route, handing out candy, candy canes. Okay. So we love that. We're excited oh, about here they that. Come. Thank you so much. Oh, we. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. I Thank love you so it. Much. And Woo. there's Mike. Oh, thank you. We love it. And there. Oh, I yep. love it. Oh. oh. <laughs> tried. I tried. We we're trying to Underhand. catch candy Ooh, up yeah, here. Yeah, I was trying to catch it. <laughs> we're trying to catch candy up here. We're evolved on it. Yeah. So here's the Elevator High School Parade starting. Again, I'm Cindy Langston. And, and I'm Scarlett Gully. And we are here at El Dorado for the largest Christmas parade in Arkansas, El Dorado Christmas Parade 2022. We kick it off, as always, with the Army ROTC leading the way. I love it. Oh, you can't say it that fast. <laughs> Wait a minute. Fifty nine is the only one that's not crossed off already. Seventy nine. Oh, I hear some drums coming in. I hear too. That sounds great. We love that. Let's see. Oh, we love this. The 2022 banner carriers. Again, we just saw the ROTC color guard from El Dorado High School under the direction of Sergeant Neville Matthews, and now we have the banner carriers. Awesome. And uh, let's see here. This year's banner carriers are members of the Boys and Girls Club, mm -hmm. chosen based on grades, completion of schoolwork, and responsibility. Executive director of the Boys and Girls Club is David Lee. Let's give a big congratulation to these students. Yeah, some of the grand marshals. On the float, representing the fifth grade students of Union County are Brian Abara from Washington Middle School. And we've got Kiara Bridges from Washington Middle School as well. Also Dalton Davis from Smackover Northlet. Ashlyn Harris from Smackover Northlet. Isaiah Billings from Strong Huddock. And Isaiah Billings from Strong Huddock as well. Also Braden Marable from Parker's Chapel. And Reagan McElroy from Parker's Chapel. These students earned this honor by submitting essays that tie into this year's parade theme to their idea of Christmas. Those essays are judged and winners are announced from each school in the county. Congratulations to these students, you guys. Now listen, can you hear Scooby-Doo's voice? Say Merry Christmas, Scooby-Doo. Merry Christmas. 
<laughs> we love it. Games, Caves, and Cards and Collectibles presents Scott Ennis in the Mystery Machine. Scott Ennis, of course, is the voice actor. You just heard him as Scooby Doo. He voiced Shaggy as well and Scrappy Doo for years and years. You can meet Scott tomorrow at Gabe's Cave. He'll be signing autographs, taking pictures, and have merch from the Mystery Machine starting at 2 o'clock. And the Scooby uh, Gabe's Cave presents the Scooby Snack Shack. Gabe's Cave offers collectors and pop culture enthusiasts unrivaled accuracy and relevance in their search for exactly what they're looking for. We're also, we also provide a seller uh, service and tools to assist sellers and collectibles, um, comic book supplies, and reaching a larger audience and increasing monthly sales. Enjoy the latest to the oldest comics, comic statues, graphic novels, action comics, and much more. And now you're enjoying the sights and sounds of the El Dorado High School Band. Amazing kids, and they are walking a long way in the cold. Uh, we're really grateful that they uh, present them present some Christmas music to us every year under the direction of drug major uh, Maggie Meyer. The Wildcat Band is directed by Robert Clope with the assistance from Melissa Greer, Tim Mullinex, and Melanie Long. They're marched over 20 times, competed in more than four competitions, many, earning many awards this year. Currently, the band is preparing to march in the National Memorial Day Parade in D.C. this May. Quite an honor. It was an invitation Absolutely. from Bruce Westerman. Absolutely. And Carl Malone Auto Group, the mailman delivers here in El Dorado. Carl Malone is committed to El Dorado and is one of the largest contributors to many of the events in El Dorado. That's right. And his motorsports group, uh, again, along with his uh, car dealerships, uh, provide a lot of great things to El Dorado. Uh, the power sports trailer that Carl Malone owns and operates Four businesses locally. Of course, Carl Malone Chevrolet, Carl Malone Toyota, Carl Malone Ford, and the Power Sports. Um, if we're picking out cars, number six is the one I want. Jason. <laughs> Absolutely. Christmas list. I mean, <laughs> I'd take it under my tree. What about you, Scar? Absolutely. I've definitely would uh, as well. Absolutely. You want silver or you need another color? Oh, I would love red. I, red. Mm -hmm. Same. Favorite uh -huh. color. Very Christmassy. <laughs> definitely need it. All right. And right here. So, yeah. Uh, okay, sounds great. Um, and Carl Malone has lots of cars. Of course, we'll get a little backed up here because we are waiting on that marching band mm -hmm. as they have to walk up the hill. Things go a little slow when you've got walking groups, and we're we're understanding that. We'll Absolutely. just enjoy the Christmas tunes. Carl Malone Power Sports. Again, if you need a new four wheeler under your tree for Christmas, or you need um, a side by side, uh, something like that for um, your hunter and your family, or just because you love to go you know, to uh, rats or someplace like that. Mm -hmm. You need one of these. Carl Malone's your guy. He's got all the things that you need. Awesome, awesome. And right here? Oh, I think it's Power Sports. Yep, number okay, seven. Okay, Power Sports. All right. Or, so, right no, here. this one, my bad. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Sorry, Scarlett and I are just doing the best we can. <laughs> uh, Carl Malone Power Sports Adventure is waiting for you at Carl Malone Power Sports, your local power sports dealership offering customers both new and used from ATVs to motorcycles on and off road. And we've got, and they've got what you need to create unforgettable adventures. Absolutely. You never knew there were this many types of right. uh, power sports. What is number 10? How cool is that? Wow, amazing. Yeah, absolutely amazing. All that available here locally in El Dorado. Right here in El Dorado. At Coral Malone. So that's pretty cool stuff. Wow. If I had to zip up my jacket. Right. It's getting it's a little, getting a little bit colder. Chilly. <laughs> I need you guys to know I have on two pair of pants, two pair of socks, two shirts, and a jacket because I thought it was going to be cold. But listen, I would rather be cold than sweaty because it's Christmas absolutely, time, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And we've got this wonderful heater down here. I know. Here. We're so thankful it, to Bud it's Cross perfect. for bringing us heaters. It is perfect. <laughs> I do love the Scooby Doo theme. You know, I have to say, when they came out with that theme, I was like, "What?" I, mean, I didn't understand. Right. Like, what are we doing with Scooby Doo at Christmas? But it's really cute, and we'll have such a good time tonight to see how people can incorporate that into Christmas. Absolutely, um, Christmas means lots of things to lots of different people, and it's been so fun over the years to see the different themes and how people um, interpret that. Right, Absolutely. the different groups. Mm -hmm. So coming up, number 13. Number 13. Yoakum yes. Elementary School. They've Aww. got a big deal going on tomorrow. Um, oh, they they're do. They're going to have a groundbreaking ribbon-cutting thing, and Scarlett will be covering that. I sure You'll will. Have to tune in tomorrow at 4 to get that scoop. We're not going to give it to you early. Uh, but the mystery machine, that's so cute, Scarlett. I love it. And look at all the sweet people on there waving it. at Everybody us. Wave. Hi. <laughs> we hope if you're coming by, if you're listening to this, that you will wave at us, give us a shout-out. 
uh, tag us in your videos, your pictures. We would love to see you. Again, we, we can tell you that, of course, this is airing live on Facebook and on myarchimus.com right now, but we will re-air this. I believe it's on the 15th. Yes. Uh, and I'll try to find out the time. Mm -hmm. Jeremy, do you know the time that this re-airs? And uh, noon Saturday. Noon on Saturday. when you can watch it Good on deal. KTVE, so that'll be super fun. Oh, next Hi. Saturday. I'm sorry. Awesome, and look, up next we've got the Salvation Army with Major David and Major Joanna Robinson. Our local Salvation Army recently celebrated 100 years in El Dorado. That is amazing. Yeah. Um, reminding you that it's bell ringing season, and the money collected through bell ringers goes to fund the non-perishable food boxes that help feed our local families in need. Uh, our local Salvation Army serves over 1,000 families in the area every month, so it's really important for you to drop a little jingle in the kettle when you can. We are very fortunate to have a community that has supported the Salvation Army for years. And as we can see out here, we've got Red Storm Marching Band at Fordyce High School. Let's take a listen. Wow, amazing job. job. Wow. That, again, was the Red Storm Marching Band of Fort Ice High School. I can tell you I grew up 30 minutes away from Fort Ice, and the band did not look like that when we played them <laughs> in high school. Great job. This amazing is a show-style band. It's relatively new. They've changed over to the show style. They've gone through a cultural change under the direction of Xavier Broughton. The Red Storm has participated in High School Band Day at UAPB's Marching Musical Machine of the Mid-South and has several members of the marching band on the collegiate level. They've even won state awards at the Battle of the Bands. So we are thankful to them. So great job to the Red Storm Marching Band of Fort Ice High School. Awesome, awesome. And let's see here. Give them a little bit more time. Yeah. I, you know, I neglected to say it was on another page. And, again, uh -huh. we haven't gotten to read scripts. But Yoakum Elementary School, you saw them earlier. Mm -hmm. The cutest float ever. That float was actually all created by kindergarten through fourth grade students. Wow. Yep. Amazing. The art classes at Yoakum made every little bit of that float. And the students that were riding in the float have been recognized as students of the month this year. So Aww. the group was organized by a good friend of mine, Nicole McAdams. Mm -hmm. She's the art teacher there and does a great, great job. So awesome, great job, Yoko. Awesome. And up next, we've got Hogwild Motorsports, yep. locally owned and operated. Um, Hogwild buys sales and trades services of all types of golf carts, side-by-sides, ATVs, UTVs, um, boats, and motorcycles. That's and great. as you can see, we've got some of that coming coming right down the parade route and it looks awesome. I really like how they've decorated their ATVs. <laughs> yes, that is awesome. is awesome. The mystery machine is wonderful. Thumbs up from us and you've even got Fred driving the mystery machine. <laughs> Can't beat it. I love it when they really get into the theme of the parade. Mm -hmm. Well, Gracie Robertson is up next. She's Miss Parker's Chapel. Gracie's the daughter of Billy and Leanne. She's a varsity cheerleader and a member of the Parker's Chapel Thespian Troop. What a crown. Wow, She's also a beautiful. junior at Parker's Chapel High School. What a beautiful girl. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool looking car. <laughs> Great decorations, and I love the crown. Good stuff, girl. Gorgeous. <laughs> All right, and then up next, we've got El Dorado Drillers Baseball, and we'll give them just a second to come in. Hey, um, good job to JW out there. Yes. Just, like, making sure we get the shot. I this love is it. the He's teamwork we job. love. He's doing a good job. It. <laughs> good job. From that guy wears oh, a lot of hats. Yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he does. Oh, Okay, so we've got the El Dorado Drillers baseball team um, coming in here singing some tunes. Yeah. Scooby-Doo hits home, runs too. Yes. That's cute. That's really cute. Oh, I love Great it. Great job, guys. Amazing float. 
big waves. We love that. That's great. Awesome. And this is the Union County 7U and 9U travel baseball teams. They travel to South Louisiana to Little Rock, representing our county. I might have to stand up, Scarlett. Okay. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm like, I need to move. <laughs> I need to move, please, and get the circulation in my legs. Sorry. And up next, we've got the Medical Center of South Arkansas. Yep. Um, Medical Center of South Arkansas has been awarded a four-star rating accreditation as a community hospital. The Medical Center of South Arkansas's goal is to help, let's see, page turn here, right. to get well and live healthier lives by providing safe quality care and building enduring relationships with the people of the community we serve. Wonderful job. We and love that. Hi. Absolutely. Great job. <laughs> love your mystery machine. That's awesome. I love the take on mystery machines. Well, up next walking group is Barton Junior High School Band. Oh, wow. We love to see these guys. These are seventh and eighth grade students. They have two to four years of instrumental musical experience mm -hmm. under the direction of Miss Melanie Long and assisted by Melissa Greer, Tim Mullinex, and Robert Clope. The Barton Junior High School Marching Band has performed all of the home games of the junior high football season and will be competing individually this Saturday for positions in the all-region band. Let's take a listen. Aww. And I noticed some of them have some lights on their instruments. That is so adorable. I love it. They're decorated very well <laughs> and sporting their purple. Absolutely. Well, we wish them all the best of luck as they compete this weekend mm -hmm. for all region band. Robert awesome. Clope is the director, and he is driving the Eldorado Band bus. Hey, Robert. <laughs> and up next, we'll just give them a little bit of time to yeah. march on through. <laughs> all right. Again, we want to take a moment to thank our sponsors. Coles, of course, uh, the big sponsor of the themed parade. and. Um, streaming and the televised parade and then Spawn Ma Maine is also one of our sponsors today. We're really thankful for them. Without them, we would not be able to stream this live. TV, absolutely. So to those absolutely. Guys. And the Boys and Girls Club of America does whatever it takes to serve kids through at, through after school programs, sports leagues and summer and day camps. Locally, we have four locations helping kids throughout the county. Floats, the float is sponsored by Centennial Carbonic. And let's take a look at this. I love it. The Mr. Machine has the Christmas tree on top. Oh, I love that. They've been out to the farm. <laughs> awesome float. Awesome float, you guys. Bella Hammond is up next. She's the 2022 Young Miss Union County. Bella is the daughter of Jacob and Stephanie Hammond, and she also won Most Photogenic and Most Beautiful Eyes, and she's a cutie. Oh, I love that. Hi. <laughs> Sherry. Sherry. And then up next, we've got Clean Harbors, um, a.k.a. the Scooby-Doo Villains. Let's give them a little bit of time to see. Okay, there we go. And we can see them waving over here. Um, we've got the Scooby-Doo Villains pursued by the Clean Harbors Mystery Machine. So we'll give them a little bit of time to see. But... This is super awesome. We love to see everyone dressed up and just enjoying um, the this year's theme, the Scooby-Doo theme, as well as getting into the holiday spirit. And we can see uh, we've got the Clean Harbors uh, people out here waving at us. This is awesome. Hi. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Okay, and we'll give them just a second. All right, and then Clean Sorry, Harbor. Scarlett, I was getting updates. You're fine. <laughs> oh, this, oh, is, this is awesome. Have you talked about it yet? No, I don't okay, think so. Okay, this is Clean Harbors. I used to work for Clean Harbors. They're a great company. I did that one, they, but this one. Um, have, they're in hot pursuit of the HR villains on the run. I, I mean, that's amazing. I am so impressed. Wow. Them, but that's amazing. I mean, you see Fred. You see Velma. You see Shaggy. Oh. <laughs> you see Scooby. The whole gang is there. The whole gang Fabulous is here. Job, clean the harbors. That is awesome. That's amazing. Wonderful job. And up next is Thomas Moore. All right, Thomas is riding a 2006 Honda Goldwing trike wow. known as the Tasmanian Devil. Wow. wow. Look at all those lights, right? <laughs> Hunter and Tom and Tim. Did you see? Did you hear? They were talking at the same time. It only took like 30 minutes. 30. We, are in sync. we are in sync, yes. Oh. All right, next is Michael Hearns, and then Ernest and Diana 
Hildreth riding uh -huh. what? A 2018 18. Honda Goldwing, Goldwing trike, trike known as the Grinch Master. Wow. And they're dressed for <gasps> Christmas. That is awesome. Hi. <laughs> I, the lights are my favorite part. Do you think they have yes. those lights on all year round? Or Ooh. is that just special for us? Special or? for us. Okay. <laughs> if you want to be special, we'll let you be special. I love it. Wow, Wonderful awesome, guys. guys. You could take a trip, like long haul trip in that. Right. Place. That is great. And then up next, we've got Jimmy Nelson riding a 2005 Honda Gold Ring. And we'll give him some All time. Like yes. So wow. <laughs> and then Jay Tatum oh. after that. Jay's on a 2001 Honda Gold Wing, 1800. He's been riding for only five years. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard for those guys to stop those big old motorcycles. Right. <laughs> with our walking group. He's got the Grinch with him. Oh! <laughs> See if we can get a big wave. There we go. Great job, guys. <laughs> awesome. And then up next, we have, coming up here shortly, we yeah. have Terry Lewis yeah. on a 1994 Honda Goldwing 1500. Wow. Terry has been riding for 40 years. Wow, I love wow. that. You have guys that have been riding for five years, guys mm -hmm. that have been riding for 40 years. Mm -hmm. It shows that it's a lifetime thing. And, Absolutely. You know, love that they form a bond and they form these groups and they travel places together. It's really a great mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. Elroy Davis and Joan Davis own the next bike. It's a 2002 Honda Goldwing bike. Looks amazing. And again, oh, those lights. I love how they have them all decorated for Christmas. <laughs> They've gotten with the theme. They've got the cool Absolutely. lights. Gotta love it. Awesome. And then Destiny Hildreth in a 1959 Chevy Apache built by Ernest Hildreth and friends. She's won several awards on the show circuit. Wow. Let's take a look at that. And they, instead of reindeer, I believe Scooby's pulling that sled. <laughs> I love it. Great job. Wow. Amazing. Wonderful. One of our big rigs up next, this flatbed is H&E Equipment Services, and it was founded in 1961. H&E is one of the largest equipment rental companies in the nation. They have heavy equipment, and they're run by equipment people, it says. That's great. They have all wow. kinds of friends on board. Awesome. Hi. <laughs> including a heavy equipment mystery machine. Wow, look at that decoration. That I mean, Listen, this is what I love. I love to see when they really like decorate and go all mm -hmm. out. That was some wow. Fun. That looks great, guys. Oh, awesome. and they've got a real doggy. Oh. Hi, puppers. <laughs> mm. Love it. Wow. That's their own awesome. Scooby Doo. Oh, I'm right. That looks awesome. Great, great job. And Timberlane Health and Rehab yeah. bri bridging the gap from hospital mm -hmm. to home. And let's take a look at that. Okay, we've got. Little. Little blow up Scooby Doo. We've got a little blow up Scooby Doo. I love seeing all the Scooby Doo's. I do too. I do too. It does make you smile. It does. And if you if you can think about Scooby Doo and not say rut row in your head, I don't know if we can be friends because it always makes me talk like that. Well, the next two entries are actually Kim Dupree State Farm. Kim's been a State Farm agent for over eight years now. She opened her El Dorado office in October. State Farm, of course, has been awarded many awards and Kim has been awarded with top honors including the chairman's circle for eight years running and ambassador of travel for eight years now. Wow. Good job. Amazing. She's got her car of course <laughs> with the wrap and then she's got her very own float and she's on there. I see Kim. Oh awesome. Great job. Hey we need to Big remind waves. people while we're waiting on the next float that Tomorrow night, which is what, what is Friday, Friday, Friday night, uh -huh. is the Madrigal Feast at yes. Alberta High School. So it is such a neat thing. The choir kids perform, and, and I mean, this is not like a pity go. This is they can sing, okay? And so you go, you pay, you eat, you enjoy some great entertainment, mm -hmm. holiday tunes. Uh, you can buy tickets at the door. It's at the El Dorado High School Auditorium. Awesome, tomorrow night awesome. We're looking forward to that. Yeah. And up next, we've got Tinsley Moffitt, yeah. Miss uh, 2022 Baby Miss Union County Fair. Tinsley is the daughter of Haley Moffitt and won her very own pageant Sweet. at just oh, 10 months old. Past oh. her bedtime, but she's a cutie. Oh, we. <laughs> I kind of feel like that right now, too. But we're getting our buddy heater going. It's That's good. right. It's good. It's good. It's good. We're going to be good. All right, next up is El Dorado's FFA, Future Farmers of America, of course. El Dorado Agricultural Department and FFA is directed by <laughs> Neely Purifoy. Oh. oh, I like it when they've got a when they've got a chant. Oh, this is awesome. And they've got their mystery machine. <laughs> and they've got their cowboy Fred. I uh -huh. like that. Oh, wow. I love it. 
I love it. Awesome float. Awesome float. <laughs> <laughs> that was fabulous. <laughs> and up next, we've got Jinkies. It's a Northwest Christmas mystery. Northwest Elementary School. Like oh, Jinkies. <gasps> oh, Jinkies. There, there, go, there we go. <laughs> Northwest Elementary School contributors, contributors are a part of the Northwest PTO Roadie Spirit Committee, headed by Brooklyn Lee, our instructor, as well as teachers and family members of the Northwest staff. Oh, we've got... Oh! oh good job, Scooby! Scooby unmasked the Grinch. <laughs> that is great. Good job, Scooby. <laughs> Scooby and Roadie unmasking the Grinch. You gotta love it. Right I here in El Dorado. I think they think we're the judges because they're doing that here. And I'm like, oh, the judges are down there. I hope they saw that. It's super cute. But at least our television audience gets to see it. Right, absolutely. You guys are more important than the judges, I assure you. So. All right, up next is Lily Mitchell. Lily is Teen Miss Union County Fair Queen. She's 13 oh, years old. Hello. She lives in Smackover. And she is the daughter of Mike and Beth Mitchell. Awesome. Big waves from them. <laughs> And our next two floats, um, Greater Powerhouse of Deliverance, yep. under the organization of Bishop Polly Bishop. Awesome. <laughs> we'll give them some time to move through here. Again, we want to remind you to go see Mad on Ice. They oh, yes. are the skating rink downtown in El Dorado. It's at the Murphy Arts District. going to be a ton of fun. Uh, it's pretty cheap to rent some skates and get on the ice, and they are open through January the 2nd, so that'll be super, super fun. Sorry, Scarlett, I had to stand up. I was freaking. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number 50 of our floats. Again, this is the Greater Powerhouse of Deliverance that Scarlett mentioned earlier. Excited to see them with two different floats, and those kids look so great. Good job. I wonder awesome if that, I know they wish that fire was going in that fire. Right. Fire. <laughs> I love it. Oh. Good job, guys. Hi. <laughs> I love it when they give us a wave. All right. Lots and of other things going on um, this holiday season. Of course, we encourage you to shop local always. Absolutely. So many wonderful shops downtown in El Dorado. You can get everything from a baby gift, uh, items from your home, uh, to the perfect outfit for your Christmas party. So go visit the folks down near Main Street, El Dorado. And up next, we've got Zane Henson representing Brushy Creek Duck Calls, owned by DJ Hargett. Look at that. Wow. That will go to rats just fine. Right. <laughs> uh, we need to take that out That will go rats. mud riding just <laughs> fine. That will make it through every hole that they could possibly see. <laughs> Campfire Club number 35 is up next. This is a group of second graders. They're sponsored by Stephanie Pepper, Little Angels, Aww. Precious. Oh, Scooby's oh, there's in Scooby. there. <laughs> hey, Scooby. He's like, excuse me, do not leave me out. I am here. I'm part of this little group. <laughs> Y'all look great, Scooby and the Shepherds and Angels. Oh, and Angels I wonder if yes. Scooby was there that night. I mean, Mary's there. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Mary's there. They're all there with Scooby. And I love it. up next, we've got Union County 4-H, directed uh -huh. by Bethany Gamble. Yeah. This 4-H uh, club is made up of 10 uh, clubs dispersed throughout the uh, county, teaching kids about cooking healthy foods, growing food, livestock, life skills, and so much more. And let's take a look at their float. I love it. It looks amazing. Wow. Oh, man. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Everybody is just in the holiday spirit. It is amazing. Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, we've got a very interesting one coming up uh -huh. here soon. Let's see here. The Latino Customs Body Shop is coming up next. They're located on South Jackson, and they specialize in restoring and customizing vehicles. They're driving a 1962 Impala, their wow. version of the Mystery Machine. It was a restored job and it was restored straight in the shop looks great i'll move all my stuff hey we have a special guest oh wow we move my sonic oh. drink all the necessities <laughs> in life okay scarlet do you know who this is <gasps> i do scooby-doo <gasps> how, how are, are you, you? <laughs> what's going on <laughs> <laughs> listen sorry while we fangirl for a minute right but it's this kind of a big awesome. deal 
We also have to still, you know, MC the parade. Yes, so we'll yes. See. Who's this? Hold on, we'll be back <laughs> to you. We've got ahead. the Girl Scout <laughs> Troops 2114 and 2115. Yeah. Troop leaders Tracy Baker, Sharon Graves, Ashley Lupton, and Cara Rushing. Good job, guys. Amazing float. Scooby, how do you like that float? You like that? <laughs> Pretty good stuff, no, right? Yeah, this I love this parade, man. This is great. How and it's fun. all Scooby themed. It's all, all I mean, Scooby it is a parade. Theme. Talk, about a, talk about a uh, parade that's tailor made for you. Absolutely, right? absolutely. You, you, you couldn't be more happy. To, you now know. you live in Louisiana now, don't you? Uh, yeah, Louisiana, Baton Rouge, you know, Cajun boy. Absolutely, but still Scooby at heart. We knew oh. Scooby was Southern. Huh, you know, yeah. he's very lovable. Well, easy, you know, easy to love. It's got to be a Southern. The Scooby snacks boy. are a, a little more spicier down there. You know? <laughs> they are a little more, a little Cajun yes. seasoning. I love All it. All right. And then up next, uh, we actually just saw a South Art Community College, yeah. and it looks like, oh, we've got some more South Art Community more College. Stars. Let's South see here. Oh. Meddling stars. I love it. <laughs> they would have got away with it if it wasn't for those meddling kids. <laughs> and those meddling stars, kids. These are great. You know, South Art Community College <laughs> has got mm, sports teams now. They have a softball team, mm -hmm. they have a baseball team. Of course, they've had their basketball team. I believe these may be some of our athletes, and they certainly are stars. We're excited to have them. <laughs> Coming up next is Claire Herman. She's the Arkansas State Queen 2022 Arkansas Divas and Dolls. Claire's a member of the Beta Club, Student Council, FBLA, DECA, HOSA, FCCLA, Key Club, the Extreme Drug Prevention and Steering Committee. She's also on the archery team, and she's an honor wow. student. All Fun. around girl. That artwork that's on the side of the truck there, mm -hmm. uh, my buddy Scott Neely, who lives in uh, Philadelphia, did that drawing. Really? Oh, wow. And uh, he did it for just one thing, and it ended up all over the world. All over so, the world. Yeah. How in the world did you become the voice of Scooby-Doo? Oh, gosh, just right place, right time, and yep. a lot of, you know, help from the good Lord. But yeah. I've been doing it ever since I was a kid. So well, we love to it. step We're... into these paws was pretty good, pretty cool deal. Absolutely. Oh, wow. <gasps> What's going on here? Let's see who this, this is. is. Oh! <laughs> They've unmasked the Grinch. That's very <laughs> clever. I love it. That's What Heart Dojo, directed yes. by Brian Dixon. Seven uh -huh. And Lottery the home of El Dorado's best summer camp in martial arts. Yeah. One Heart Dojo hosts many There's free Velma. community Velma's events. Oh. We love them. They're amazing. Yeah, the whole gang. The whole gang. They just need a whole gang. Rod Turner's up next. He's in a fully restored 1974 Osmobile Delta wow. 88 convertible. Oh, wow. So tomorrow, guys can come out and meet you, right? Yes, we're going to be at Gabe's Caves Comics and Collectibles 3 to 6. We'll be there 3 to midnight if we have to. Right. Everybody you know, can people love Scooby-Doo, and they, it's, it just takes them back to a better time in life. It's just one of the longest-running cartoon uh, shows in the history of uh, yeah. other than The Simpsons. Right. And uh, people just love to get their Scooby on, and we're going to be signing. We brought a whole Scooby store. It's just going to be – and Gabe's Caves Comics and Collectibles, that is just – that's the Zoinx shot. factor. Is it, yes. it is the Zoinx I walked factor. in today absolutely. and I had to peel me out of there. I, I know. <laughs> I tell people that all the time. If you like comic shops, it's the best one I've ever made. Yes, absolutely. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas to all you metal and kids. Okay, so this is a fun group of kids excited about the Scooby-Doo theme and Christmas in general. Look, their dog has on a Scooby-Doo hat. I need somebody to see that. We need the close-up on the dog. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh, my seen. gosh, yes. <laughs> see it? Ah, I Merry love it. Christmas. Velma is a senior and will study veterinary medicine at OSU. Other children are excellent <laughs> students involved in school activities and church. Next up, we don't want to miss Queen Adriana. Yes. She's sponsored by Tasty Grill Barbecue. She started pageants at just nine months old and currently holds three titles. She's three years old now and knows the Pledge of Allegiance and her alphabet. Well, that's pretty impressive to be three. Wow. I don't know that my children even spoke at three. <laughs> <laughs> Much more than rut row and that kind of thing. <laughs> And up next, we've got Charity Riders of South Arkansas, the Christian Motorcycles Association, changing the world one heart at a time, touching lives through uh, the run for the sun. Yep. You can find your local slogan. chapter yep. at cmausa.org. They're great guys, too. There's an old TV guy right there, uh, <laughs> Chris Franklin. He used to work with me back in the day. Great guy, ah. great guy. All right. Well, listen, Scott, we're so thankful that you're here. Thank we're, you. We're grateful that you got to ride in the parade tonight. Oh, it's, it's a little wonderful. Elderator. Yeah. Hope you get to see the town. We're going to tomorrow. Again, Gabe's Caves Comics and Collectibles. Yeah. Like three to six, y'all come get your Scooby-Doo on. We will. Merry Christmas. Yes, you too. Thank you all. Right. all. Thank you so much. Oh, Who's up okay. next?
Good Hope or Good Home Baptist Church yeah. Youth Department, uh, Pastor Billy Hunter and Youth Pastor Jason Parlow. We're the church where the difference makes up for the distance between Camden and Smackover. They invite everyone to come grow with us. <laughs> Good job. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, if you were looking for a Scooby Doo mask in El Dorado, pretty sure you can't find one because they've all been bought out. And they're all riding at the spray tonight. It's great. <laughs> Calvin Barnes is up next. C. Barnes Transportation LLC. Calvin helps the Eldorado High School freshman cheerleaders pulling their floats. He's also a member of South Arkansas Sports Car Club. Awesome. Oh, we let's see who's Scooby coming up here. Right. right. Let's see here. We've got, it's, well, it's no mystery, actually. Yeah. UCAPS right. saves lives. UCAPS provides care and shelter to homeless and abused animals right here in Union County. I love it. Wow, look at that Great float. job. <laughs> <laughs> Scooby looks warm. That, that outfit looks super warm. <laughs> great job, guys. Look at their wheels. Oh, oh wow. Isn't we that love great? the decoration. Great job. Right on theme. Absolutely. You know? <laughs> well, well, Big 96 radio star Jay Randall Harvey, one of my favorite guys. <laughs> Big 96 is South Arkansas's only 100,000 watt classic hit station. And during December, they're going to be playing all holiday favorites. So you definitely want to tune in to hear that. Big 96. Oh, and look at Santa. <laughs> Giving us a hot pop. <laughs> All right, and then up next, we've got El Dorado First Assembly promoting the living nativity uh, at El Dorado First Assembly at 225 West Hillsboro from December 11th through December 13th from 6.30 to 8 p.m. I would highly encourage you to take your family and drive through this. Make a night out of it. Go downtown, get you some PJs, uh, or the kids can get some creamery. They have Christmas flavors right now on both coffee and ice cream. And then go look at the lights around El Dorado. So many great locations for lights all around the community. And then go through the drive through and remember the real reason for the season, the living nativity, the journey to the manger. It's an amazing experience for you and your little family. And you will really, really enjoy that out at El Dorado First Assembly. Awesome. And up next, we've got New Haven Counseling and Health Services coming in. A care accredited facility providing substance abuse, counseling, day treatment, and primary care to those qualifying patients and clients. Sure she's carrying presents, Scarlett. Wow, look at that. Oh, I just love all the decoration and all these floats are amazing. They really like, have done a great job. Wow. I don't know how, I'm glad I'm not a judge. Aren't you glad? I'm glad Listen, I'm not let a us judge. Let <laughs> right. not judge. <laughs> we are great right here. Absolutely. <laughs> Hi. Victory Church is coming up in just a minute. It's a big float. They are sharing the greatest gift ever. What did we just talk about? The reason for the season, of course, we're talking about the birth of Jesus Christ. 1432 Northwest Avenue is where they're located and the old Brookshire's building, if you know that. They want you to join them each and every Sunday. You're always welcome and their doors are always open. Oh, that's awesome. Big waves from Big them. Big waves, sweet kids. <laughs> Sharing the greatest gift ever. That's right. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas. <laughs> awesome. And then up next, or coming up next, we've got First Arkansas Bell Bonds, the oldest and largest bond company in South Arkansas. Just in case you end up on the naughty oh, list. So we would love, right. yes, we're glad we have them <laughs> here. <laughs> that is great. I mean, it's good to know them. Hey, right, absolutely. You never know. <laughs> you never know. Blow out of New Year's. <laughs> block and feed and seed. Block our feed and seed, I should say, are up next. The livestock on the trailer were provided by Block and Farm Barnyard. There are some livestock on this trailer. I'll have to see it to believe it. Oh, right. They didn't do a great house. I oh. believe it was snow. Right. Great job, guys. Snow in El Dorado. It is snowing. <laughs> I love it. If it, oh, there are. They've got a miniature horse. <gasps> I am here for it. Scooby's out there, too. Oh, I just want to go pet it. Wow. I love this one. I do, too. <laughs> Scarlett and wow. I are making lists of our favorites. We're putting them on the good list. We're calling Santa. Great job. Great job, horse. guys. Great job. <laughs> and up next, we've got Leela's Nail Salon. 
home. There's a there's there's a cow on that. <gasps> there's a out. cow it's on eating. Oh it's wow. Eating the paper currently. I just I'm sorry I need you to see that. Okay, move on. 75. <laughs> All right. Up next we've got Leela's nail salon, uh, which is home base a home based nail salon where beautiful nails make a beautiful world. Amazing float, you guys. I don't want them to see my nails. I right, now have two missing. <laughs> Just need you to know. We need to go visit them. Yeah, we need to go visit We Lila's need nails. to we make sure a trip. Do. We really do. <laughs> All right, from nails to shales. <laughs> it was rough. That was a rough transition. I'm sorry. Rhett's Tails and Shales are located in Marble. If you've never been, they're located on Lake Garbone, specializing in boiled crawfish and other Cajun classic dishes. They are jamming Ooh. Rhett's Tails and Shales. They are. They do a great job. It's really a lot of fun. Look, he's playing the little Zyco machine. <laughs> A Cajun Christmas night. Oh, wonderful. I'm going to have to go visit there. It's really good. In, in, it smells in, good, too. In better weather, uh -huh. it's a great place to go, look at the lake, have a nice meal. It's super fun. Good job, Absolutely. Guys. And Scooby-Doo on down to Hudson. Hudson Memorial Nursing Home was established in 1960 to provide home-like support for the citizen, senior citizen community. <laughs> Great awesome. Job. Up next, we have the El Dorado School District Cafeteria Ladies, your favorite school employees. Oh, the makers so of nice. all these rolls Absolutely. and cookies, the pizza. The kids love the pizza. My kids talk about the pizza, talk about the cookies. We're so grateful for these ladies. You know, they feed El Dorado children year round. Um, and oh. we are really grateful for all. And it do. looks like they're, oh, they're passing out to, some They're trying to <laughs> pass some Scooby Snacks to Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yay, Brandon. <laughs> yay, Brandon. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Brandon Christmas. and the Skylift got his Scooby Snacks. He'll be good for another 30 <laughs> minutes at least. <laughs> And up next, we've got coming in Castillo Logging Company. Yeah. Richard Castillo Logging logging and Trucking Wood to all local mills. Wow. And let's take a look at this float. I see a lot of lights, and Great I job, love the it. Good job, family. Good job, guys. This is awesome. It's beautiful. You know, I think people don't understand we couldn't have a great parade without great floats. Right. And it takes a while to put a float together. Mm -hmm. um, you know, these guys work all day and have to work on their floats at night. And uh, they're taking this truck and trailer out of service to mm -hmm. be able to do it um, for probably a week, you know, to get it all right. done in time. Mm -hmm. And so really grateful for the people that signed up, pay their little fee. And, and be a part of this. Help us bring mm -hmm. some Christmas spirit mm -hmm. to El Dorado. <laughs> Especially those folks that walk. Ooh, Ooh, right. That's a whole other thing. <laughs> well, Sign Gypsies is up next. It is a fabulous way to send your loved one a message. Our elf on the shelf comes back every December the 1st. And one year, he actually came back by announcing himself oh, through the awesome. Sign Gypsies. They're such a neat, neat company. Mm -hmm. They'll come in the dead of night and set up your signs um, so that they can surprise whomever you would like to. When they wake up in the morning, and it's really fun. Now they have a special Scooby Doo Doo side. Oh, that is like awesome! With the mystery machine <sighs> and Santa. I love it. Love it. Wonderful float. Absolutely. And coming in next, we've got Equipment Share. Thomas Woolsey says, "Happy holidays from Equipment Share." Another incredible float. Look at wow. that. Wow. I love the snowflake. I love Look the at that. snowflake. Oh, and Santa. Oh, there's Santa. <laughs> Wow. But look at their little arches and the presents on ah. top of each arch. What detail. Right. Again, this was no small feat. Mm. And what a trailer. If you need equipment, obviously, <laughs> they've got everything they've got you can that. need. They've got that. The Grinch is driving the heavy equipment, though, so got to be careful there. <laughs> Don't trust that guy. <laughs> Great job. Oh, actually, it's Paw Patrol that's driving. Oh, is Paw Patrol. Yes. We love that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Scarlett. Oh, Look we've got something interesting coming in. Slingshots crew. I always love these guys. Uh, these guys are great, great members of the community, despite having Grinch as a passenger. <laughs> Don't believe it. They have hearts of gold, these guys. They take kids shopping every year. They love giving back to our community. They show up at birthday parties, events, giveaways. They even escort funerals. They wow. are very very great members of our community and what a show they're going to put on for us tonight Scarlett. Wow and as you can see we've got plenty coming in. Absolutely. Look at all the wow. Colors. And look all are different. This guy's red and green. This guy's multicolored but look how it's going. Uh -huh. What an amazing, wow. amazing. We love that they're supporting our Christmas parade and we love that they're out here just 
together as a group yeah. and just yeah. coming here and embracing this El Dorado hospitality. We Absolutely. love that. You know, wow. find yourself a community mm -hmm. and pour yourself into it, mm -hmm. whatever that may be. We hope Absolutely. that this holiday season you will be blessed. You will um, get to be with family. If that's not an option for you, we hope that you find your, your people, your tribe, and that you get to be with someone. You should always be um, with family or friends or people that you love on the holidays. Absolutely. So. What a great job they've done. There's two Merry seaters. Christmas. There's an empty one. Can we ride? Can we ride with you? He didn't look like he was willing. No, he's he like, well, he's I'm going to keep good. on going. He did. He just was like, I'm good. Appreciate you, oh, Hey, you know, this Saturday, um, mm -hmm. if folks don't have anything to do, and again, need to get into the holiday spirit and want to do it yes. in a warmer way. Uh -huh. Tell me what's going on. Sarah Kaufman has a big mm -hmm. event going on. You want to talk about it? Oh, yes. Yeah. So the South Arkansas Symphony yep. Orchestra. If you didn't know, it's the largest symphony orchestra in South Arkansas. Did That's you cool. know that? Yeah, I did. This is awesome. So they are having their holiday Christmas concert uh, titled Rejoice. And it's not just going to feature the symphony orchestra this nope. time. They'll be including local high school choirs, including El Dorado. Yeah which is awesome. We love the community coming together, Absolutely. especially for the holiday season. Um, I'm what super excited. I'll be there. I want to be there. What time does it start? Seven. Is seven. it at the Municipal Auditorium? Municipal Auditorium. Okay, seven uh -huh. o'clock. You can buy tickets at the door, I guess? Yes. Um, and you could, okay. since if you're watching this right now or listening to this right now, you can go online. Okay. Um, on their website, or um, I would check their Facebook page. There's sure. a direct link. Uh, you can go to Facebook and look for South Arkansas Symphony Orchestra, okay. and there's a direct link. Um, I'm pretty sure they just recently posted sure. um, the link on their Facebook page. So be sure and head over there because we love supporting local. We love being involved in this community, and like I said, that's why I'll be there. Yeah. And uh, for me personally, I love music. I, I love do. the symphony, and I just love being involved in. There are so many that. great events. I know a lot of different churches have things going on too. My church is First Baptist Church, uh -huh. uh, Northwest in Maine, and we have uh, the gift of Christmas that we do every uh, every Christmas, and it's it's very. Um, Trans Siberian Orchestra. Oh, you know, it's like very, that's awesome. Um, so it's really, really. Tony Forbes is the guy who kind of arranges all the music. He's incredibly gifted. Mm -hmm. uh, but the gift is presented to the community. It's uh, that's a Sunday night, December the tenth. Mm -hmm. um, it's at six o'clock. You have to get there early to get a seat, honestly. Right. Um, and it is always so, so, so good. I would encourage you to come. Okay. To that absolutely. As well. There's something to do every weekend in El Dorado during mm -hmm. the Christmas season for sure. Plenty of events. And let's look here. We've got Holy Redeemer Catholic Church celebrating celebrating 90 years of Holy Redeemer in our community. Absolutely. Let's Pope look at almost that. just fell off the wagon there. <laughs> he had to hold on for dear life. God bless him. That's great. Good job, guys. Big waves. Awesome. <laughs> Holy Redeemer is also the next float. Again, the Catholic Church in our community is located on Main Street. They're a great community. Parishioners and oh wow, well, they have a dog oh. back there too. Again, I love how everybody's incorporating their own Scooby. Great job. This is awesome. And a wonderful church to be a part of. <gasps> oh my gosh. What? It's Santa! <laughs> <laughs> He's a Santa Claus is here! Wow, let's. What? And he's on the Eldorado Fire so Department good truck? This year, wow. Santa. Hi, Santa. <laughs> <laughs> Santa is always, always on top of the Eldorado Fire Department's fire truck. We love that they uh, partner with him. He's right here <laughs> getting a break before the big night. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, and so the Eldorado Fire Department always put him on the truck and escort him where he needs to go. We're very thankful for them. But the big guy has made his appearance. It is officially Christmas. I hope you have your, your lists ready and you know what you want this year. I hope you've been on the good list. And then, of course, as always, we wrap up the Eldorado Christmas Parade with an incredible display of riders, horses wow. and horse groups, churches, all bringing their wonderful, wonderful horses through downtown wow. Eldorado. It's quite a sight. You're going to see they dress up their horses. Our friend and our coworker, Brandy Gaffney, mm -hmm. uh, her, her little group is coming. We'll introduce them in a minute. But Brandy, I know, is going to dress up her horse. His name is Playboy. She's quite fond of him and he of her. And 
She's dressing them up especially for us today. Oh, what a great group. Can't wait to see that. Yeah. Who wow. are all these riders? So we've got Karaoke Love yep. Riding Twister we just saw pass by. And we've got Megan Walters on her horse, Sister. And then this is Calvary Trail Cowboy Church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They and say that they're wishing us a Merry Christmas. Ah, I love that. Look at them. Wonderful. Awesome. And up next, we've got Sunshine Riding Club. Uh, they're wishing you a Merry Christmas. And then finally, Maverick Cowboy Church. They say they're branding the love of Christ, and they want you to come join them Sundays at 11 at 3761 Strong Highway in El Dorado for their Cowboy Church. Again, so much going on in El Dorado. I want to remind you of a couple things. First, though, we want to thank our sponsors, Cole Jewelers. We're so grateful for you for um, sponsoring this so that we can live stream this on Facebook and on MyArchemist.com, as well as Spa on Main. So grateful to you for your patronage. And um, as for the events that are going on in South Arkansas for the holiday season, Mad on Ice, mm -hmm. you've got the Magical Feast on Friday mm -hmm. night, December the 2nd. You've symphony. got the Symphony uh -huh. on December the, the 3rd. 3rd uh -huh. And again, so much going on. We want you to come and be a part of it. And um, find your way into El Dorado this holiday season and enjoy all that we have to offer. Again, we're uh, going to wrap up with this last little group. This is the Maverick Cowboy Church. And, and there Brandy. is Brandy. That's our friend Brandy. <laughs> and, and that's Playboy. Oh, I love it. I love it. We're glad to see him. <laughs> this is awesome. Wonderful job, guys. <laughs> Big waves. I love it. Great community. Yeah. Great community. Atmosphere. So, how was your first El Dorado Christmas parade? This was amazing. You like it? And Do y'all have anything like this where you're from? Uh, nah, Not kind like of. This. We did Not bigger like in this. Yes. Yeah, I get it. I get it. The floats I get it. I get it. definitely were top tier. Yeah, right. Top tier. I am so happy to, that I got to experience this and just be a part of this. Like, I just love this community yeah. and I love being here and I'm very grateful to be yeah. able to um, be here with you yeah. and you know this is just an amazing experience. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Again thank you to the law enforcement officers yes. that are wrapping us up today. Thank you for all of you that tuned in and watched us and if this is your first time seeing it on Channel 10 uh, on that Saturday the 15th mm -hmm. or Saturday the whatever date that is, the I, I don't know, the 13th, mm -hmm. 13th. Mm -hmm. uh, then we're glad that you tuned in there too. Thank you again to Cole Jewelers, to Spawn Maine, and to all of the great people behind the scenes that helped us put on this Absolutely. event. Absolutely. Merry Christmas, my friend. Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas you. to y'all. Yeah. God bless you. Good night. Good night.